Hey Earthbound Army, hope everyone's having a fantastic day, noon, night, wherever it is in your part of the world. Now yesterday I uploaded a video about NFTs, artwork and everything else and this video I wanted to give you an update on where that is, the process, uh, how that's evolved and what I'm doing at the moment. I have to say it's been a lot of fun being able to kind of flex my creative muscle over the past recent days because I've been able to kind of delve back into the art world which I very much enjoy. I you know I really enjoy Enjoy doing stuff from Photoshop and learning new techniques, new skills, and NFT, creating artwork and minting them, selling them has been really fun. And even if I don't sell anything, I just enjoy the whole process. It's quite therapeutic. So I think I'm going to continue doing that. Now, just to give you an update on everything so far, let's take a look at my first minted NFT art and what's happening with that. The first artwork that I've uploaded on the mintable.app. So that's the artwork. <laughs> I've got one bid from Chris Jacob 84. Uh, I listed it at $10. It's currently at 11. So progress. Look, like I said, if I didn't even sell it, it doesn't matter. It was fun. But thank you to Chris Jacob. He's bidded $11 on it. So you know, in an hour's time, if uh, no one else bids, then he will win this artwork. So there you go. Now. What's the update? I'm selling my new artwork on OpenSea, which is I think one of the larger trading platforms at the moment. It's larger than Mintable. So the reason I'm doing that, even though it does cost $66 to initiate the account on OpenSea, is because I think it's just a more reputable, larger marketplace. There's more buyers in it, there's more people, there's more traffic and you know, it just gives you more potential of selling your artwork. So I've moved over from Mintable, even though Mintable is technically free. So pretty much I went on, I clicked on my MetaMask, it popped up with that. I went to directly deposit and I copied my pretty much Ethereum wallet account, went into Binance and then just withdrew from my Binance account into my MetaMask. I've got money in there, uh, which means I can initialize my account, which is fantastic. So as of tonight, I have made a second artwork, which I want to sell on OpenSea. So what I've done is I've essentially gone to Unsplash or Pixel, which is royalty free photography. I've taken a few images and I've put them into Photoshop and I've just made my own artwork. Unsplash and Pixel is royalty free images uh, that photographers put up. You can use them for commercial purposes and personal purposes royalty free. Okay so it's technically not stealing it's part of the terms and conditions of Unsplash and Pixel so you can use them. So this is the first image just a blank wall. This is the second image. So I've downloaded these two images okay and you're probably asking all right David what did you do with these? Okay so let's take a look at what I've done with these. So from those two images I have created this image. This is my second piece of artwork. I'm currently running with the whole COVID theme thing. I don't know. I think I, I like controversial ideas even though I may not believe in myself but I think controversial ideas are high impact and hopefully high selling. So as you can see the initial background was just that one wall right and I've kind of created my own Banksy style artwork. I have the COVID-19 vaccinate or die and I've just put the image of those SWAT team members here on the wall. So you know people you might think oh I'm just taking other people's photographs. Look I'm, you're really turning them into your own piece of art right. For all intents and purposes they're just pretty much interesting images but on their own nothing worth you know calling home about but when you put them in Photoshop and depending on your skill and your ability and your creativity this is what you can achieve. So this is my second artwork and I'm now going to sell this on OpenSea. So submit NFTs. Now vaccinate or die. Let's sell. Sell this. I'm going to go bid. Minimum bid. When you sell an item you can choose Ethereum uh, I don't know, DAI stablecoin or USD coin. Now let's just stick with Ethereum because that is the default. And the reserve price, so we're also imposing a mandatory reserve price of one Ethereum or an equivalent value in your selected token. I want to sell this art, per, art piece for 50 bucks. Okay, so let's chuck that in. 0.033 is $50. So that's what I'm going to do. It's an Ether minimum bid starting at 0.033, which is about $50. Okay. I'm going to give it more than seven days, less than a month. That's just probably too much. Okay. Open Seas takes 2.5%. There doesn't seem to be any ongoing royalty free fees. 
um, on the secondary market. So the second, the primary market is you selling it to the first person, and then the the person that buys it off you then can subsequently sell it to you know um, other people on the secondary market. Mintable does allow a five dollar royalty fee on secondary sales, but I can't see anything like that on OpenSea. Anyway, doesn't matter. So post your listing. Initialize your account first. So like I said, you need to kind of initialize your account first by interacting or setting up your uh, OpenSea Etherscan account. And at the moment, it's saying 62 US dollars to kind of set that up. And then from that point forward, you, you, you can kind of mint um, your items free of charge. So let's just confirm, wait for the transaction to complete. So I don't know how long this will take, but we'll wait and see. Okay, so it's finished initializing. It's taken my ether. I had 63, I think it was 67. I can't remember. I had 67. Um, so now it's left me with five dollars USD. It's waiting confirmation on the blockchain, and that took about two minutes. So now it's saying, do you allow OpenSea to spend your WETH? Uh, <laughs> yes, I do, but I don't have seven dollars and forty-seven cents of Ethereum. Oh God. Okay, so long story short, I had to put more money from my Binance account into the MetaMask wallet, uh, which is a pain because I'm really stupid and I'm not that well versed in, in crypto. So it kind of cost me more gas fees to do that because I should have just I didn't have enough essentially. Okay, so let's confirm that has gone through and it asked us to sign our request. We click sign and we are done there you go it is now listed so there you go guys that was the whole process of setting yourself up on OpenSea. hopefully that was um, of some use to you i know it was kind of like a quick and dirty video but uh, you know that's me and my second piece of artwork i've moved from mintable to now OpenSea. it did cost a bit of money and the process did cost me uh, a bit of gas twice because just me being inefficient but uh, it's listed it's ready to go let's learn together let's go through this journey together even if i sell nothing it's all good. Life is great. Let's just enjoy the ride and see where this takes us.